I'm happy to be alive and I'm also uh, happy to be, in, to be uh, in the grace of God. Eric McCoy says he's lost many friends in the last year to opioid addiction. And this woman, Caitlin Smith, saved his life. In June of 2017, someone stole Smith's purse. McCoy found it in a West Baltimore alley using an address he found in the purse. He returned it to her. He just said, I had my sleeping bag stolen from the abandoned house that I was living in, and I could empathize with the person who lost this purse that was clearly stolen. Smith wanted to give McCoy a job to help him out, but he refused, admitting that he had an addiction to heroin and could not work. Smith swung into action and got McCoy into recovery. She's been by his side since then, finding him work and making sure he stays in recovery. How has Caitlin changed your life? When you're dealing with somebody who you care about, if they can't walk, drag them. And that's how she rolls. Smith says she's learned people in recovery have good days when everything goes right and they don't use, and they have great days when nothing goes right and they don't use. So I think, you know, reminding him of, hey, was it a good day or a great day? Um, and then on the days where he was really struggling um, because there were some triggers or there were some stressors that, you know, he would have gone and used before, um, I would have to drag him through those moments. Along the way, learning a lot about recovery, addiction, and behavioral health, and discovering a new passion. In April, she left her job in medical sales and now works for an addiction treatment provider. Here she is with other addiction treatment providers. It led me to this career change, and now I have the opportunity on a daily basis to um, you know, talk to people and families in crisis um, who don't know their resources. McCoy is living with a family member, spending time with his nine-year-old daughter, and learning job skills. I'm actually um, into an apprenticeship uh, with a contractor, certified contractor, to learn some skills on, in um, home improvement. Smith has started a nonprofit called Advocate, where she establishes contacts who have resources in transportation, housing, and employment for people in recovery. She says that's often the reason people can't follow through with an outpatient treatment plan. She and McCoy speak to groups about their experience and paint these rocks to place all over town to lead others to advocate. I wanted people to find the rocks and post where they found them and maybe if they had a thought or a feeling about addiction to post it because I think one of the best ways to tackle the opiate crisis is raising awareness and tolerance and if, if we can, um, reduce the stigma. McCoy wants to remind those in recovery they need to take it one hour or one day at a time and do what they can to help those struggling with addiction. In reality, that person who just overdosed and died, they're not just addicts. They're fathers, their brothers, their sons, their mothers, their sisters, and uh, they're people who are uh, from all walks of life. Smith says when someone wants to share this story like McCoy did with her, listen. I was someone who was not empathetic towards people with addiction. Um, I thought it was some character defect. Um, and so uh, I think that as much as Eric might feel I saved his life, I think that he saved mine right back. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. Wow, hmm. kindness of a stranger. Wow. And in a real life story of redemption, too, mm -hmm. for him, that is That's special right. to see. Tanya, thank you for that. If you would like to help Caitlin with helping those with addiction, you can visit Advocate on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. It's A Advocate Team. What a great follow up to a great yeah. story. You could also email her at aadvocateteam at gmail.com.